Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might Magic Heroes 7. This is episode 66, and uh, there's a lot going on, guys. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to traverse the map. We're going to have to probably dance with the enemy to make sure that we're able to defend ourselves while still attacking. I think this is going to be pretty rough. It's going to be a difficult thing, but I think we might be able to pull it off. I could be wrong, but, well, I guess we just have to wait and see, don't we? All right, let's, uh, I guess, end our turn. And it looks like they are moving around and gathering up stuff quite well, quite easily. I mean, I'm not going to spend, I'm definitely not going to spend the money, even if I had it, to do that. That seems a little bit ridiculous. But it's there. I mean, that's a thing that we could do if we were so inclined. Additionally, we don't have enough of this. However, maybe with trades we could? I feel like that's still a bit eh. We're going to go with this instead. Buy that up. And... What is it that we need here for this? We need 10 star silver. We always need star silver. All right, let's check out the spells that we are getting. We got the instant reinforcements, all the stuff we already had. We had all this stuff as well. And we got summon elemental cyclone. That's a new one. Deals air damage to all creatures in a 2x2 area. It relocates them instantly and randomly within a surrounding 8x8 area. Well, that's weird. Don't hate it, though. Can't say that I hate it. Alright, I feel like Danon should probably gather as many troops as she can for this next little bit. And I realized, guys, that I did not make the sacrifice last episode. I, as soon as I ended the episode, I went, crap, I forgot. So we'll have to double up this time. And as much as I want to, I'm going to wait. Do it now. Honestly, you guys are probably like, it's stupid, don't do that, just try to win. So maybe I'll stop doing the sacrifice. And we'll just go for the victory. I'm not sure. Either way, I want to go fight these guards, but we're going to, again, we're going to wait until the next week. That's probably going to be the smarter move, so, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here as well and take on whatever this is. Well, it's just the, the bonus there. Um, upgrade training, blah, blah. I suppose we could have done that as well. I mean, technically, why don't we, yeah, why don't we position ourselves to actually get that done? For the next little bit. Alright, so Danon's ready. We're gonna go here. He's gonna move around, do whatever annoying thing he's gonna do. The week of deadly calm, the week when nothing really happens. I am okay with this. I am quite okay with this. We're gonna go here and we are going to recruit, recruit, recruit. Not quite enough. Alright, and recruit. I was hoping we actually had enough money to do some stuff here. But unfortunately, even with our. We have a capital building, right? Do we not up? Oh, we do. Even still, even with the capital building, that's still not quite enough. Which is sad. Alright, so we're not going to go for the upgrade. We are, however, going to come over here and deal with this. And I think it's going to be okay. Uh, we got to start the combat. We can't do a quick combat on something as important as this. Alright. I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm eager. Let's get this done. Alright, I think we're probably set. Let's see. What are we up against? We are up against a whole bunch of nasty. Alright, thankfully we do have the first move. Are you a ranged individual? You are a ranged individual, and that could be a very, 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 very massively large problem for us. However, we're going to try our best to poison cloud you out of the field of battle here. Man, that's going to be our best bet. I think they're immune to magic damage, aren't they? Hmm. All magic damage received from spells add prime damage to the creature's next hit. Additional damage is limited to the number of creatures. Huh. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is a very, very bad thing. Somebody's really, really going to suffer a horrible, horrible, agonizing, painful dealie right now. Alright, well, let's see if we can't do some significant damage here. Well, we killed off a few of them. Alright, I don't think we're going to be able to kill this off, but we're going to give it our, our best shot here. And with high morale, still not enough. The Rakshasa is going to be like, eh, eh, eh. We're going to move forward, we're going to defend, we're going to probably just try to attack this. I know our defense is pretty high, I just don't know who they're going to actually focus. Ooh, we're burning. That's a bit unpleasant. 
We have the attack from behind and the follow-up attack from behind. We're going to move our folks out here in hopes that, that she gets targeted. Oh, that's rough. Alright, so poison, poison. It's all well and good. The attack. The double attack. It's fine. Alright. We're going to try a resurrection again. Apparently, uh, casting spells on him, not the best play. Should really look at forces before I do stupid things. Oh, we can get all 15 back. That's not so bad. Alright, we can kill you off pretty easily. And by pretty easily, I mean exceptionally easily. And you are super dead. The downside being that you're still actually in the cloud of poison. Hmm. That might be a problem. I don't know that we can actually do anything to him until the poison dissipates at this point. Uh, was that because we're burning? Holy crap, that's pretty intense. Yeah, burning, not super fun. Little known fact. Burning, not really great. I... Yeah... Not sure I really want to go in there. Guess we can just defend. Is he gonna... Okay. Holy crap, the entire wall just exploded. That poison cloud, guys. Holy crap, that poison cloud does some significant work. Alright, well, he's no longer hidden behind a wall of shame and loathing. We'll resurrect the 20 of you that just got wrecked. I'm pretty sure that some of our people are probably not in... Well, they're still covered. How's he still covered if he's be out from beyond the wall? I sort of want to just, like, wait in there and attack, but I feel like that's a stupid idea. This whole situation is pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. And we're actually out of mana, so... Hmm. That poison cloud is just terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Alright, we're going to do that again. That's super fun. Hey, the poison cloud's gone. Yay for poison cloud gonitude. Do we have enough for anything else? Do we have enough? I think we might. Where did, um... Oh, oh, it moves the stuff that we can't cast away. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Do we we can't do teleport? Oh, we can do teleport. Well, that's pretty legit. All right. Well, we're going to teleport you over here then, I guess, buddy. Why can't I teleport you? There we go. So I'm not sure why it wouldn't let me teleport him, but it certainly wouldn't. All right. We're going to attack. Hopefully this is going to be worth it. We lost a few troops. It's, yeah, That's not great, but it is simply what it is. We're just going to have to handle it and, and go about our business. And hopefully our archer can do enough or our little dryads can finish the deal. Looks like it's going to be all on our dryads here. Do it! Yeah! Woohoo! All right, so the losses were, well, a bit more than we would want, but they weren't that bad. Kind of wish we had a well nearby. We could have actually stocked up on our mana and just gone in at like full capacity, and it would have been so much better. But unfortunately, that's not really the case. All right, what are we looking at here? Is there any way we can do the same thing here? No, it's not really looking like that's a thing. There's a lot of really nasty things here. Like, despite us doing that, we're still not in a great spot. All right, well, we're going to try to move forward a little bit here. And despite my best efforts to get this thing handled, that's not going to happen either. So we're going to go and we're going to tag up the defense. We're going to go back to the town, maybe learn a spell or two that we didn't already know. And we're going to end the turn. I'm sure at some point we're going to have our, our town rolled out upon, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen right away. All right, we're going to go tag that up. We're going to grab this. I guess we're going to try to take this. I mean, it should be still somewhat simplistic, right? Let's just start combat. I think we could probably handle this without too much trouble. I mean, obviously if we could, like I said, if we had a way of completely fulfilling our magic uh, requirements back to full, I'd be pretty happy, but it doesn't look like that's really a thing that we can do. 
All right, chuck out that stone. I mean, we've got a little tiny bit of magic to work with here. Uh, looks like the poison cloud's going to be enough. All right, let's just do that. We'll do a poison cloud, and then we'll kill off whatever's left. Poison cloud's easy. We can just wait out the rest of it. You're going to move forward. You're probably just going to get shot. Might as well do it now. Shot number one. Shot number two. And again, baby damage. Whatevs. Same thing here. Shot number one. Shot number two. Again, baby damage. I'm okay with this. Okay, we can defend all of you. You can move forward. Defend, and I guess... Yeah, why not? We'll take a shot on you. Significant damage there. Move you down here, because this is going to be the closest place you could possibly be to actually hit anyone. Okay, and then we're going to spam wait our way through. No more spells for the rest of this. Probably going to land an auto attack from our heroine here. Danon did a decent amount of damage there. Here's going to be the follow-up. No longer behind cover. And... Blop. Is that enough? Not quite. Defend. We can kill you off with uh, our wonderful pirates here. And we got attacked very smallly. Not that big of a deal. We can wait. And the wonderful, wonderful obsidian gargoyle type folks are going to come forward. And not that big of an issue... And I guess we can go at max capacity here. 33 to 42. Survived, ironically enough. But now completely killed. Alright, so this fort is building whatever it is. It's now officially ours. No losses, obviously. Just destroyed that. I would like to be able to afford to pick that back up. But I feel like if I did that, it would probably be a pretty big waste. So instead, I'm going to move on this way. It looks like that's a low fight. Uh, again, I don't really... I had to fight that, huh? Alright, well, let's, uh, let's do the combat, I guess. I didn't really want to fight this fight, but... Looks like we don't really have much of a choice. Well, we're a bit stronger than the last time we fought this... Oh, hello. This is actually not what I thought it was. Alright, let's see here. Spellbook, what's going to be our best bet? We can cast Implosion right now. I think that's what I'm going to do. Implosion, pull guys closer to each other, I guess. It's fine. Oh, cool, we can actually close them, that's interesting. Didn't really expect that. Alright, we can do... a sizable chunk of damage this way. I mean, maybe with a super high morale we can do more, but... I don't know. Alright, we're gonna attack you. Uh -oh. We're going to definitely lose people. There's no way we're going to get away from not losing people this time around. Again, if we had full uh, mana capacity, maybe things could have been different. Though, still doubtful. Alright, I'm not sure who they're going to focus on. I'm hoping it's not our ranged units, but I have a feeling it might be. Nope, oh, they're just going to focus. Okay, I mean, that's obviously not ideal, but... Uh, all things considered, losing a tier 1 unit, not the worst thing in the world. But also not the best thing in the world. Alright, 126 of you die immediately. That is so much damage. Well, it says 126, yet I'm doing half damage. I don't... I don't understand. It's okay. Alright, we're just gonna move there. Um, 138, maybe we get a high kill off of this? 130. Oh, this is going to be pretty good. Yeah, let's make this happen. Sliced and diced, and we got hit back, but I don't know if he actually did anything to us. Alright, we should be able to kill maybe up to 42 of them? Not quite. It's still decent. 87, let's do that. Bam. Completely annihilated. We can kill off all of these. There's the first attack, the follow-up return attack, and the kill. And then another pretty big chunk of damage done here. Retaliatory strike, and then what is your play? You're going to kill off our one? Yeah. I figured you would. And down you go. Well, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. 58 lost. Still, 
killed a tremendously huge amount of enemies there. All right, let's let's be pretty real here. That was uh that was mildly impressive how many guys we actually annihilated there. Alright, let's see. We can upgrade you, that's fine. We still can't afford you, we can't afford you, we can't afford you. We can't afford you, and we can't afford you. Well, we're just not getting anything done, are we? It's a bit unfortunate. However, I would very, very much like to start trading, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be possible. So we're going to recruit all, I guess? Well, all that we can. Which isn't really that many, to be honest, but that's okay, too, I suppose. Alright. I think that's it. We're going to end our turn. Looks like they're looping over to actually maybe take us on. Not sure. He's what, like up here? It looks like they're kind of leaning toward wanting to battle us. I'm not sure if that's the best play or not. Thousand gold. Can we bypass any of this? It looks like we can. What is that? Ooh, an alchemist lab. We totally have to deal with that. And I think we have enough mana to do so this time. But I'm still not certain. Oh, I thought there was like a thousand of these guys each. No, this isn't that big of a deal. Let's take it. Let's take it. I'm not sure where the enemy's actual town is at this point, but it's like we're we're getting closer to it, maybe. Alright, chances are we'll do another two to three turns, then we'll break off this episode as well, folks. Alright, well we can do a fairly significant amount of damage. I think that just doing Lightning Bolt might be the better play. It looks like we do less damage with Lightning Bolt than... Hmm. More damage from Water Spells, huh? Yeah, that would be more damage. Alright, we're gonna do Water Spell damage then. Yeah. That still didn't do much. I don't understand why it it like miscalculates every single time I attack with her. I don't understand what the deal is. All right, well we're gonna start charging forward. Let's see if we can't actually get some stuff handled here. The attack is there. Follow up is there. We're gonna run on down after these enemies. We're gonna defend. I hope they attack her. That's okay, you can kill them off too. I actually don't have any love for my sea pirates, so... I, like, I was kind of all like, yeah, let's keep them, but until I realized that we actually had a town, now I'm just like, meh, whatevs, get rid of them. Don't even care. Again, I don't... We do half damage every time with our hero. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe somebody can enlighten me, guys. So if you can understand why specifically I'm doing half the damage I should be doing, I would be absolutely thrilled to understand why. Alright. Attack is there. 33 damage was not super impressive. Follow-up damage is eh, a little bit less impressive too. Alright, hopefully we can do like 30. Eh, not really that much, huh? Alright, we'll kill off 43 of these. I hope we get the high morale with him. We did not. Okay, I'm just gonna move here and defend, and I should be able to do a pretty good job of killing most of you. Our water shield is out. Oh no, he did one damage to me. Whatever am I going to do? Or one kill to me, I should say. Alright, significant damage done, and we can finish it off with Danon, because she can at least kill seven of them. Alright, taking a look, decent amount of experience, minor losses, again, all acceptable losses, and yes, please, for the love of God, give me something good. I don't know if I'd call that good, it was something. And I feel like we're within range to accomplish whatever our goal is here. Alright, well, I'm going to hope against hope, I'm going to dream against dream that we can actually get this done and handled and not get killed here. Uh, let's see, how do we... we need five of that. Let's see if we can't do some trading. I've been trying to hold off on trading. I realize that it's not great to waste most of your time trading stuff. But, unfortunately, I feel like it kind of needs to be done, so we're trading. Alright, well, we're close. I think we are one under on the crystal, but we know we're going to get the crystal again, so it's not that big of a deal. 
Okay, so let's utilize your ability to increase our bounty on this. Okay, you should probably also have that spell, and you do. But I gotta tell you guys, I have no idea where our... Ah, there it is. Our ore mine was. I had no clue. Glad that it was that easy to figure out. Okay. That being said, let's end our turn. They are definitely moving quicker. I feel like they're moving too fast. Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can't fix that as well. Let's see. Gameplay. AI speed's too fast. Let's go down to 200%. Why that? Like, I can obviously keep up with it. It's not like, I'm like, oh, no, what are they doing? I can't figure it out. It's not that. It's just, it looks really, well, bad, for lack of a better term. All right. We're going to go nice and slow here and see if we can't figure out where the enemy is. Oh, really? They will join us for free, whereas those things will fight us to the death. Huh. Well, what is our army looking like? Do we have three slots available? We do not. Hmm. But who knows, after the uh, battle we may end up with three slots available. There's no way to be sure. Alright, 1500 gold there. Alright, we're going to come up this way. Ah, there's the town that we need to actually take out. Okay. So we'll be able to take that out next time around. I really wish we had a way of, like I said, restoring our magic. Because we've used, well, we've leaned heavily on it, as I'm sure you would imagine. I mean, that's kind of our thing. So, I mean, we've leaned heavily on it, and I would really, really like to uh, I'll get rid of that problem. But it's okay. We'll figure it out, guys. All right, what do we have now? We can get you. We can do this, or we can do this, and then start working toward that. I think I'm going this way. I think that's going to be the play. All right, and then we need five more crystal, 1,500. Yeah, I think we can do that, 15,000, rather. And what do we have here for actual troops? Recruit. All right. And we're going to end the turn again, see where the enemy goes. They look like they're making a line directly for our base. We have the teleport and we'll be able to take it, but again, at what horrible cost. Alright, well let's take this out right now. I mean, this is a quick combat, I shouldn't need to do anything for this. Okay, well we took that down. That should have been a quest update for us, unless this is the quest update. It's very possible that it is. Hey, we learned new spells. What did we learn? Molasses, Temptation, and Heal. Okay, let's go into spells here. Wow, look at all those things. Alright, so Molasses, Temptation is this. Increases the chance that neutral armies offer to join the hero until the end of the day. Frenzy makes the target creature attack any adjacent unit with increased... Or decreased attack depending on the hero's magic. Huh. And, oh no, this one has a town portal. No. Teleports the hero and his army to the nearest. Oh no. That might have been a terrible, terrible mistake. In fact, I think it was. No, this town wasn't supposed to have a town portal. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have it. Oh, thank God. Okay, it doesn't have a town portal, so we're still okay. Whew. Okay. All that being said, let's see if we can... Can we win this fight? Is that a thing we can do? I mean, it looks like we have enough magic. Well, let's give it a shot, guys. I'm going to go up against the devil's numbers here, but I think we might be able to do it. Alright, let's uh, start up combat. They're going to be quicker than we are, and that's a pretty detrimental thing for us, but... Oh, please don't tell me they can close the entire gap. Oh, they can. That's awesome. Oh, good. I'm so... Well, that one didn't. That's weird. Okay, so our pirates are down. I kind of already expected that to happen at some point. The stone spikes are going to... Probably do massive damage, I would assume. We can kill off six of them, it says. But again, that lies to me because it hates my soul. For some unknown reason, and with that spell cast there, 
I've actually almost killed all of them off, which is ridiculous, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, we're gonna go here. Somehow he's covered. I don't really care why or how. It's fine. Gonna go around behind of you and attack, which should also spin you. I'm gonna lose a little bit of damage there. We're gonna come here and attack from this angle. Get another kill off on that, and then from behind here. Kill off only one. Oh, I was hoping so much we would kill two. Alright, who are you gonna hit? Eh, it's not great. But, could have been so much worse. And we do have resurrection still, so... Let's bring back the majority of those. I'm gonna wait on you. Going to wait on you. Going to wait on you. Going to attack with you. Okay, that obviously was gonna happen. We're gonna go here and get a singular shot off. And it looks like we can go again, and... What do we do? A decent amount of damage. We're gonna be able to come over here and maybe kill one. Yeah! Oh, get some more damage on. Mm. Sweet, sweet and ass style. And over here, and then our druids will finish it even if we don't. And that's that. Yeah, that was very nicely done from our boys there. Eh, overall, not too shabby. Against their will, 10,000 experience, 10 defiant or defense, stay defiance. Wow, 10 defense. People in there, prisoners kept in kennels like dogs, and there were animals of all sorts. Components for a vile magic. The wizard is not only using the forge to become more powerful; he's also using it to make more beast men servants. Fusing men and animals together with the raw magic of the dragon lines. This is in violation of the laws of nature. This is insane and must be stopped. Indeed. Let's get this done. All right. What is our stats at? And she's got to be through the roof. 24 defense seems pretty darn high. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm all for it. I like it a lot, but still. All right. So we did that. The defilers. Defeat the wizards and defeat the orcs and beastmen armies. All right, and the Corrupter, defeat the Wizard Leader at the Elemental Forge. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Now, granted, we still have to deal with this problem over here. It's a trivial fight, sure, and then that's a low fight, but I think we're actually on the right track here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... probably drop off some of our troops right now. I think I'm going to drop off the 21 Blade Master. Oh, I don't think I can do that. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Sweet. I swear it didn't let me do that before. Can we... We can't summon more guys here? Why not? What is it that we need to do that with? Well, I'm not doing a town portal scroll. Wait, what does this allow me to do? No. How is it that we can't summon additional heroes here? And what building is required for that? Scribe. I mean, I feel like we've got almost every building that we could ever want. It can't be that. However, I think I'm going to grab that anyway. Because now we just doubled our, our mana until the following week, so that's pretty darn legit. And yeah, she is now ready to do battle with whatever we come up against. Come up against. Alright, I'm pretty sure that they cannot close with us right now, so, that being said, with Sloth is probably still fine, and we get to wait for them to get a little bit closer before we teleport in and do some damage here. So I'm pretty happy with that whole outcome as well. Let's go take a peek, what can we build? We can build nothing right now, but we're storing up some money and, well, again, 5 crystal and we'll have it, so. It may take us a little bit of time to get the 5 crystal, but I think we're on the right path. In fact, I think I'll even speed this along by trading out two of these and one of these. And then I think in uh, another two turns we should have it. So I'm going to end this turn. And he's pretty close, so we're going to have to do it in the next two. He won't be able to finish the, the move on us now. So let's go grab up our troops here. They are willing to join us. We will accept them joining us. And we will come here and take this. And then we will probably, I don't know, just kind of clear out this little area around here. And then we'll, I guess, teleport back, take out the two guys in the next episode. That's what we're going to end up doing. Oh, this dude's got laser beams. Oh, I'm stoked. All right, so we have a thrower. We have all sorts of good stuff. This is good. 
All right, what do you got, little wolves? What do you got? Or as a mutant would call them, wolves. What do you got, wolves? What do you got? All right, well, I know what you got. You got a, a real bad headache right now, buddy. Say good day, sir. Yeah, that didn't feel super good, did it? All right. We did that. I think we can probably end this whole charade or shenanigans here if we wanted to, but let's do this. All right. 21 damage. That's pretty decent. Pretty legit. Let's see. We can do this attack. And, yeah, we're getting there. Oops, I didn't actually mean to defend. I meant to wait on both, but that's okay. I can do both. I can wait and defend. It's fine. I can actually almost kill these guys outright. Let's wait one more time. And you guys, you can actually just, like, laser beam these guys to death, huh? Laser eyes, guys. It's awesome. Alright, we're gonna come down here and kill off the wolves, or most of them anyway. And then the throw. Oh, the throw wasn't enough. That makes me sad. Alright, there's that. And I think we can just kill you with our, our heroine here. Oh, Danon couldn't quite finish it. There it is. Alright, so we're gonna run around and gather up the stuff that we can. Ooh, we gained another level with Danon. Let's see. I guess we decided we're gonna start going down this tree, so we're gonna do that. Finish that off. We're gonna tag up this, which is gonna be sweet, sweet, nice style. And then I would very much like to go over there, and I think that we'll do that in the next episode, folks. We are about out of space. We should have enough mana to get to our base next turn around and then do battle with the two armies that are coming to kill us. And when we get there, they're probably going to try to retreat in fear and loathing because, well, they can't win this fight at all. And we're going to be looking really, really solid. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you tomorrow with another double installment of Might and Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Yeah.